now we can start meshing. Um, so up, you know, I'll show you how to do some of this from the file menu, and then we'll we'll play in the meshing toolbox. Um, um, so the first thing you want to do is is mesh control um, to select your mesh sizing. You know how large your elements are going to be. So we can say size on surface, and we can select these surfaces. And I know these hole sizes are an eighth inch, so I'm just going to say one eighth divided by two. You've got some other parameters here, like you can say the minimum number of elements along any edge, one or two, or whatever you want. Um, and so you can see it draws little mesh seeds on each of these surfaces. And now we can mesh it. So now we can say mesh geometry surface, and we can grab these. And so when it wants to mesh, now you need to define your property. So this is synonymous with the, your Nastrian property card. And we don't have any created yet in our model, so we can create a new one. right? And you can here, you can define the element or property type. Um, so it could be um, you know, a, a plate, a laminate, um, other element types, you know, rigid, mass, spring, uh, you name it. Uh, so okay. we'll just we'll just start start with a plate, and then we'll do the composite in a little bit. Um, so you have to define a material. We don't have any in our model yet. Again, you can specify the type. It can be isotropic, orthotropic, anisotropic, um, and you can also store materials. So if you have uh, materials that you're going to be using for your program. You can either build them manually within a model, and then you just use that one master model. Or if you've got a number of models that you're going to be creating, you could you can store them in a library and, and load them in. Um, <clears throat> and so we'll just load 6061. And then we'll define a thickness for our property, right? Everything was an eighth inch thick. Um, so this is 6061, eighth inch thick. You can give it a title. And now we're ready to mesh. So there are some additional meshing options here. Um, things like trying to eliminate all triangular elements or you know, your, your max angle so when it should split a quad and make triangular elements out of it. Um, quad edge layers, so this is around like around these holes. I can I can enforce one layer of quads around each hole so that I don't have any triangular elements around that hole, for instance. So you can do okay. things like that. So there it drew our mesh. Um, so typically, I like to just turn a lot of this off. I like to keep nodes off. I also like to color by property. This is pretty common, right? So right now, we all have, we have one uh, whole property. Um, the other thing is, Nobody. The default is always these contrasting colors for the uh, for the edges of the elements, which I really don't like. So F6 will bring up your view options. So this is where you can control how things look graphically and how things are plotted. Things like labels. So very customizable. So I can change, for instance, the edges of these elements to black, which is a lot easier to look at, in my opinion. Now this base plate was a quarter inch thick. Um, so what we can do is modify update elements property ID. Right? So here I could say method on surface. Right? Um, I can also, um, so now I've selected all of these elements that are attached to that surface. Another way I could do it, if it wasn't attached to a surface, is I could say pick uh, Oh, select them with method. So if I go back to method ID, and now I can say pick by faces, right? So what this dialog allows me to do is pick adjacent faces. So I just select one face, and then I put in the angle tolerance, right? And then uh, it selects all elements that have this, you know, same uh, element normal within that angle tolerance. So just an, just another way of of controlling and, and selecting and picking elements. So to update the property, I have to create a new one. So we can just again 
it already throws the 6061. We can say this is a quarter inch. We'll give it a quick title here. Um, and then the palette, we can change the color to something else. Um, so now we've got a quarter inch, and we can turn on our thickness so we can see what the thicknesses look like. Now in the meshing toolbox, what I notice uh, right here is that maybe I want a, f a few more elements around this, this uh, fillet there, that rounded edge. So under mesh sizing, I can say set to. I can increase this to four. And then I can select this curve and this curve. So now I've got four elements running across. So it updates the mesh live. The other thing I might uh, really want to do is, is clean up the mesh around holes. Um, you know, if I'm worried about the stresses around the holes. So under geometry editing, uh, we can create a, we can put a washer in there, for instance. So you can just quickly cl click and it throws uh, washer elements around the holes. So that's really nice.